The point of this video is to give a geometric interpretation to these line integrals. So these are, these are line integrals, integrals of scalar functions. So I've graphed here in blue this function. It doesn't really matter what the function is, but I thought I'd show you uh, just in case you'd like to play with this on your own. If you kind of scroll this way so that the x-axis, the positive x-axis is pointing at you, you see basically a sine curve. The computer is not drawing that perfectly. And if you um, move so that the y chord, the positive y-axis is facing you, you more or less see a parabola. Um, you do sort of see a little bit of a ripple effect here, and that's, uh, I, th I think this example is enough to sort of show what's going on. Um, what I did was then I picked um, a parameterized curve, and I don't think you're supposed to stare at this and just exactly figure out what it looks like, but here it is just in the xy plane, and then here's a copy of that flat in the xy plane in three-dimensional space. So maybe I'll just spin this around a little bit so you can get a just a quick look to see what that looks like. Um, the main <coughs> excuse me, the main line integral that I'd like to discuss is an uh, integral over this c, that's right here, of this z equals f of xy ds. And what does that look like? Well, that, so what I did was I asked the computer to draw all the points that are above this black curve and under the blue surface, that's the graph of the function. And so you see this uh, yellow colored thing there. Let me actually hide the graph of the function. The area of this curtain, so to speak, right? So you've got this level floor right there and you have this sort of weird ceiling. Um, with all these different heights and I think the shading also helps you see how the curtain is rippling back and forth following the black curve. That area is this integral. Well, what about the integral with respect to x? So integral with respect to coordinate axes. Well, that's going to be take this yellow curtain and now project this onto this, this red x-axis right here. I actually had the computer draw that, so I don't know if I can get this to look exactly right and maybe there's a little anomaly in the way the computer is drawing this but if you see you know you lose depth perception here the yellow uh, curtain which is ripply projects back onto the x excuse me the, uh, the x z plane and makes this flat area in whoops in purple right there and of course this area is not going to be quite as big as this yellow one thinking about things like hypotenuse so to speak um, but this area of this purple region, that's the integral over C. It's funny to say this is over C, but with respect to X. And then finally, if we project instead this yellow uh, curtain onto the Y axis, so you can kind of see that projection from here, at least I'll try. Okay, perspective kind of worked. Maybe I'll hide actually the yellow surface now. That's the that's this integral right here, integral of F over C with respect to Y. Now, <clears throat> The thing with the yellow curve, let me hide that purple one here. The the thing with this yellow curtain or yellow surface is this was uh, all the points that were above the black parametric curve and under the this blue. And so if you look from above, although the computer did not draw perfectly, uh, you shouldn't see from here, you're looking say above um, a ceiling and you wouldn't see any of the yellow, although the blue is slightly transparent. That's not so for, say, take this projected copy. Um, this purple curve's top points are not completely flush with this blue. In fact, I think somewhere over here where the mouse is, you can kind of see a little bit of a gap. Um, and I think from above, you can actually see even better. You see how the purple uh, flat plate kind of juts above the blue uh, surface the blue graph of the function f just a little bit.